Hey guys, it's Kathy Crafty Chica. Welcome to my studio here in Phoenix. I do so many top down videos. I thought it was time I show up, actually put on some makeup, say hi. So here we are. For the record, we are crafting right now in the middle of the COVID-19 crisis that is going on all over the world. And it has certainly affected us here in our house in Phoenix, Arizona. My husband, he had heart surgery earlier this year, so he's high risk. So we are definitely on lockdown here in our house. And thank God for the mail, because that's how I've been getting my craft supplies in. That's how I've been getting my online orders out. We're staying safe. I hope all of you are staying safe. And before I go into my craft project, it's just like such an emotional time. And I feel like everything's being reset right now. Like literally the world, our, our surroundings, the way we're thinking, the way we do business, the way we come up with ideas, the way we connect with people, the way we plan our future. Like life as we know it is completely, completely changed. But there's one thing that will never change. And that's our creativity and our passion for following what we love to do. Well, we have all this downtime at home to spend some of that time crafting, getting creative. That's what I've been doing. Over here, I have burned through 25 pounds of clay, literally in my kiln, in the garage, making hand-built mugs, hand-built, speaking of crafting and ceramics and staying relaxed, a lot of people always ask me, you know, how can I make the ceramic things that you make if I don't have a kiln? So I found a really nice substitute. This is some air dry clay and I ordered it off of Amazon. You can get it at Michael's, Joanne, anywhere. They all are shipping. And I love it because um, it reminds me so much of the clay, the high fire, low fire clay that I use on my ceramic process. This is what the tutorial is. I'm gonna show you how to make these cool wall pockets. You can put little air plants in there. And this stuff, it's, it's like ceramics. Okay, here's what you need. Some air dry clay and you'll also need some kind of template to make your wall pocket. I used a little salsa bowl, a rolling pin, a smooth work surface, some measuring sticks, a chopstick, a craft knife, and a cookie cutter. And a lot of these are optional. It all depends on how you want to decorate your wall pocket. So what I'm doing is taking out a handful of the clay Make sure to put the lid back on tightly so that no air gets in there. And now I'm just gonna roll this into a ball. I'm patting it between my hands to make it nice and smooth. My work surface, I have a piece of canvas down there, but you could also use a wood board, butcher paper, just something that is smooth and clear and free of debris. Now we're gonna roll this between the measuring sticks so that it comes out nice and even and I'm using my little salsa bowl as a template to cut a perfect circle. You could use a large glass or another kind of, of bowl. I like to use this because I love this shape and size. Set that one aside and repeat the process to make another circle. Take your craft knife and cut one of the circles in half. Set one half aside for later and then take your base and you're going to add some water around the outside rim of it. This is because we're going to attach the bottom and we want both sides to be nice and juicy so they will join together. And same thing for your craft knife to score along the bottom where the two pieces are going to meet. This will create a nice grip to hold them together. Next you're going to put a piece of tissue right in the middle where the pocket is going to be. This will help it protrude out and look nice and smooth and it will dry just like this. Dip your finger in the water and then smooth all of the joints together. Just go through and press the clay 
to smooth away any of the lines. You want it to look completely smooth and you can use it to round out all of the edges so that it looks nice and professional. I always like to look at it and say, okay, does this look like something that could be sold at a boutique? How can I make it look more finished? And that usually helps you take that little extra minute to make it look super nice. Now that the base is done, it's time to make the embellishments to go on top of the wall pocket. For this, I took another ball of clay, rolled it out, and I'm going to use my cookie cutters to cut out these shapes. So just roll it out, cut out a shape, use some water, and attach it to the front of your Alrighty, now you're going to set them out to dry. I would cover them with plastic for the first 24 hours so they don't warp. And just have fun, and I made a big batch of all of these. They took about three days to dry. The last day I set them outside, but you really wanna make sure they're completely dry before you start to paint them. Once they're completely dry, you can paint them. I just use regular craft paint, water-based acrylics, Start by painting the background of everything first, and then let that dry. See if you need a second coat, let that dry, and then you can add the different accent designs on top. Once all your paint is completely dry, you can use spray varnish to bring them to life. I love high gloss varnish, so that's what I use. You could also use a water-based brushed on varnish, but I really, really love the look of glossy varnish. So that's how you make a wall pocket. They're perfect to put a little air plant inside or maybe something else, some potpourri or a love note. You can see how they're sticking out like that. Super easy to make and this air dry clay is fabulous. I paid $8 for that big bucket. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for lots more videos. Bye, guys.